When most people who love Greek mythology talk about Disney's Hercules, this tends to be their biggest problem with it. But I have a bigger beef with Disney's Hercules, and that is this character right here. No offense to Danny DeVito, but what they did with this character makes me so angry. Hi, my name is Mandy and welcome or welcome back to my series where I talk about classical mythology while I crochet. Today we're going to talk about Philoctetes, who actually was a figure in Greek mythology, but he wasn't a satyr. He was a man. He was a soldier and he fought with the Greeks in the Trojan War. Philoctetes' story is both beautiful and heartbreaking, and I thoroughly recommend reading The Tragedy of His Name by Sophocles. This version of it just happens to come with the Ajax, which is another tragedy I recommend you read, but if I have to recommend just one, it's Philoctetes. Philoctetes was a friend of Hercules and actually happens to be the person who helped him euthanize himself, so to speak, when he made a funeral pyre and threw himself on top of it. Because of this, in some versions of Philoctetes' story anyway, Hera sent a snake after him to bite him, which caused a festering wound on his foot. This happened on the way to the Trojan War. So, because on the ships his festering wound smelled bad and because he was crying too much, all of the men agreed to leave him behind on the island of Lemnos. Despite the odds, Philoctetes managed to survive for 10 years by himself on Lemnos, hunting small animals with his bow and arrow, using the local herbs to soothe his wound, and sleeping when the pain got to be too much. However, after those 10 years, the Greeks got a prophecy that basically let them know you fucked up. You should not have left that dude behind because his bow and arrow happened to be passed on from Hercules. So those arrows were Hydra blood dipped and it was that bow that would help them win Troy. As you can imagine, Philoctetes was not too keen to go and fight with the men who left him behind wounded with nothing but a bow and arrow on this island where he essentially had to live in a cave and wear homemade clothes with like leaves and shit. Of course he's not going to want to go back with them. So at least in Sophocles' version, Neoptolemus, who is Achilles' son, comes and retrieves him because he was not there at all in the beginning and was not involved at all with leaving him behind. Odysseus, who is also on the retrieval mission, however, was and was one of the primary actors and one of the ones who Philoctetes is especially mad at because he came up with a ruse that essentially got Philoctetes left behind while he was sleeping. Philoctetes, of course, is eventually convinced to go to Troy. Sophocles has a little deus ex machina moment where Neoptolemus agrees that he's going to take him back to Greece, but then Hercules' deified spirit comes to him and says, if you go with them, they're going to cure your foot, plus you'll take out Paris. Which, like, if someone told me I get to take out Paris, I am joining you in an instant. So that is why... I have such beef with Philoctetes in Hercules is because the story of the actual Philoctetes is so cool and did they really have to change Chiron into a satyr named Phil to make him look like Danny DeVito just to make that movie work? Why couldn't Danny DeVito voice a centaur? I don't get it. He could have been Chiron.